to Intelligence Gateway. Communication skills. Become more clear. Consus Lecture 10. Building collaborative common skills. Collaborative communication skills. Why they matter. Fostering a collaborative communication culture effective communication in team settings. Practicing constructive feedback and appreciation. Encouraging open and transparent communication within organizations. Developing a personal action plan for ongoing improvement. Collaborative communication skills. Why they matter. Collaborative communication skills are essential in today's fast-paced and interconnected workplace. As organizations become more diverse and global, effective communication becomes increasing limpert. And for achieving success, collaborative common skills enable individuals to work effectively with others, build strong relationships, and achieve common goals. By developing these skills, individuals can improve their ability to communicate clearly and respectfully, listen actively, and collaborate effectively in teams. This not only helps to create a positive work environment, but it also leads to increased productivity, better decision-making, and improved outcomes. Fostering a collaborative common culture, creating a collaborative communication culture within an organization is crucial for success in today's fast-paced business world. One effective strategy is to establish open lines of communication between team members and departments, encouraging everyone to share ideas and feedback. This can be achieved through regular meetings, brainstorming sessions, and team building activities. Another important step is to provide training and resources to help employees develop their communication skills. This can include workshops on active listening, conflict resolution, and effective writing. By investing in your team's communication abilities, you can foster a culture of collaboration and innovation that will benefit the entire organization. Effective communication in team settings. Effective communication is essential for the success of any team. In fact, studies have shown that teams with strong communication skills are more productive and achieve better results than those with poor communication. Key elements of effective communication in team settings include active listening, clear and concise messaging, and open and honest feedback. By active listening to team members, individuals can gain a better understanding of their perspectives and needs. Clear and concise messaging helps ensure that everyone is on the same page and working towards the same goals. Finally, open and honest feedback allows team members to address concerns and make improvements, ultimately leading to better outcomes. Practicing constructive feedback and appreciation. Constructive feedback is an essential component of effective communication in any workplace. When giving in a supportive and encouraging manner, feedback can help individuals and teams grow and improve their collaborative communication skills. Taking the time to acknowledge and recognize the contributions of others can foster a positive and productive work environment. Whether it's a simple thank you or a more formal or cognizant program, showing appreciation can go a long way in building trust and strengthening relations within a team. Encouraging open and transparent communication within organizations and transparent communication within organizations has numerous benefits. Firstly, it fosters trust between employees and management when employees feel that they are being kept in the loop. They are more likely to trust their leaders and colleagues. This leads to better collaboration and teamwork, which ultimately results in increased productivity and innovation. Secondly, open communication allows for faster problem solving and decision making. When a variety is aware of the issues at hand, they can work together to find solutions more efficiently. This saves time and resources, and ensures that best possible decisions are made. Lastly. Transparent communication helps to create a culture of accountability when employees know that their actions and decisions are being communicated openly. They are more likely to take ownership of fair work and be accountable for their results. Companies like Google and Zappos have successfully implemented open and transparent communication practice. Google holds weekly all hands meetings where employees can ask questions and get updates in company news. Zappos has an open door policy where employees can approach any manager 
or executive with their concerns or ideas by encouraging open and transparent communication. These companies have created a culture of trust, collaboration, and accountability. Developing a personal action plan for ongoing improvement. To develop a personal action plan for ongoing improvement of your collaborative common skills. Start by assessing your current level of proficiency. Identify areas where you excel and those where you struggle. This will help you focus your efforts on areas that need improvement. Next, set specific goals for yourself. These should be measurable and achievable, such as I will actively listen to my colleagues during team meetings and ask clarifying questions to ensure I understand their perspective. Developing a personal action plan for ongoing improvement. Once you have identified your goals, create an action plan with concrete steps to achieve them. For example, if your goal is to improve your active listening skills, your action plan might include attending a training session or reading a book on topic. It's important to track your progress along to a regularly evaluate your performance and adjust your action plan as needed. Celebrate your successes and learn from your failures. Remember, developing collaborative communication skills is an ongoing process. Continuously seek feedback from others and look for opportunities to practice and refine your skills. Thanks for watching. For more information like comment and subscribe our channel.